All right, guys. This bag right here, I'm very excited about. Uh, as you can see, this is a huge box, right? Leave it to flag nor fail to have something like this for their new bag. This is the Momentum Freight. This is the unboxing first impression. And of course, it's flag nor fail. Stay tuned. Now before I unbox this, uh, this bag, just to hit it, see if this is something that you're gonna be intrigued about. Uh, this is for a gym bag, an EDC bag. You can actually, it has places to conceal carry. It has a, a meal prep cooler or insulated department. It has pretty much everything you could ask for. It's got camera inserts and it's completely customizable. So for me, this thing's perfect. Uh, you could make this for useful for a lot of different people. So let's get this, let's get this sucker out. I'm gonna have to zoom, bring the camera back because this is pretty sweet how they did this. So this opens up, and as you can see there, you got the old Porsche, old Rob Bailey's Porsche right there doing a burnout, and that is pretty sick. I mean, you can see right there, uh, got all the dirt kicking up. That's pretty cool to be inside a box. They always go above and beyond. The unboxing experience, as they call it, I guess, makes it pretty sweet. We got patches in here, but first off, let's get the bag out. None classic, flag nor fail, stop at nothing. Um, I will say this, a lot of my music that I lift to in the gym is by Rob Bailey. So this is the bag right here. Uh, first thing I gotta say about this, this thing is extremely light for being as big as it is. It's a very well made bag. Um, it is extremely light, like it's shockingly light how I don't know how they did it, to be honest with you, with how much is in here. Um, let's just look at the front of the bag first. Okay, so the front of the bag, um, Flag nor Fail is kind of known for having uh, minimal branding on their bag. They did add this Velcro section, which it's literally to add patches and kind of add your own style or what you support, what you believe in. Um, that's a huge thing with Flag nor Fail. You can put whatever you want on here. Um, there's the first pocket we'll look at is in the front of this. It's a spacious pocket on the inside here. You can see it's just your standard pocket. Then this front folds down. You have a zippered pocket here with mesh. You, what I really like about this is you have another zippered pocket here, but then you have carabiner key hooks. So. Say you're traveling or whatnot, if this is gonna be your EDC, you could have different keys however you wanted. You could carabiner right to it, or pretty much whatever you wanna carry. I mean, just in this pocket alone, there's a ton of storage because you could have, be very organized. Uh, the pocket down below is mirrored. Uh, I will say it's, it's nice too on these fronts, both of them. They have kind of a, a a felt back so whatever you put inside either of these pockets in the front it's going to be protected and then this pocket comes down it has a bigger uh, mesh zipper on both sides so just just on the front of the bag you have a ton of storage and it just gets better it's this thing is sweet so now we'll turn it to this side as you can see you have side access to the main compartment, so however you decide to put this, uh, you could get side access to whatever you need right here really easily. I think that's an awesome feature. You can see up top, there's a handle here. There's also a handle on the top. There's also a handle on the side. So that way, if you are flying with this, you can get it out of the overhead easy or from under the chair or whatever. There's plenty of places to grab this bag that are rigid. Then you can see here, if you're like me and you drink a ton of water, this is a really nice uh, water pocket, just water bottle pocket. And I like that they've made it bigger so you could actually get like a 32 or a 64 ounce 
probably can't get a 64 ounce in here, but a bigger water bottle in here and then cinch it down, which it's the little things. I really like this uh, nice secure fit. It'll cinch right down. It ain't gonna go nowhere. Uh, you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything. Some of the bags that I've tested have that issue. Now, this is the actual pattern of the bag. Uh, this is cool too. There's a little, little bit of a hidden feature here. You do have your center support because you can load this bag up pretty heavy. And that's customizable where you want these buckles to go across. That's a cool little feature too. The straps are really supportive. I mean, they're extremely padded. They're really nice. I mean, pretty much when it comes down to it, I've had the Flagnor fail, the first gym bag they ever brought out, and it was lights out. So I know every time they drop one, it just gets better and better. Uh, also, the outside of this bag is waterproof. This is water resistant. This is designed to sit on your back so it's going to be breathable. That's why it's not waterproof. But this pocket right here, is designed for like your passport or if you wanted to put your pistol in here uh, put the holster pistol right there you have another pocket right here you can put whatever your valuables are in like passport or anything same down here so you could carry your pistol it could just safe it's right against your back no one's gonna be able to take it or anything like that and you'd still be able to carry um, I think that's a pretty cool feature. I know most of their bags, they have a, an option to carry. So I like that it's right on your back because you could be able to get to it easy if you ever had to, God willing. You don't have to, but it's available, but it's secure and safe. I like that they put it here and not on the back side of the bag or outside of the bag or inside the bag. Uh, somewhere you can get to easy, but it's protected. Also, I really like how much padding is right here, too, because if I'm going to put my pistol in this, uh, I want to make sure it's it's padded, and it is. So that is a cool feature. Then on top of the bag, you see, yet again, you have another pocket right here, and you can put a pocket in here. It's all felt. It's like a sunglass pocket or whatever you want. And then you can get inside the bag from the top. Um, so that's pretty cool too. Now, this bag itself, if you were to just stand it like this, uh, this is kind of one of the parts that I thought, well, I gotta say, most of this, <laughs> most of this design is really sweet. But this right here, let me go grab my laptop. This does have a laptop pocket, which we'll get to in a second, but let me zoom out a little bit more here. This bag is designed to be like a workstation. So you could turn it, put your laptop right on it, and you can see I'm actually pushing as hard as I am willing to push on my laptop. It's not going to go anywhere. You could sit down in the airport or wherever and work and be able to work on your laptop and quickly be able to open this up and put your laptop away so that he wanted to have a place where you could actually work on this bag and that's why it has this kind of structure so it's supportive like you got to push pretty hard to knock that over so that's a really good feature too now this is where it gets pretty intense so the inside of this bag on top of all the storage on the outside the inside of the bag, you can see there's a lot going on, right? So this side, you have a laptop pocket, which I'm pretty picky about this. I will only put my laptop where there is padding. There is a ton of padding on both sides because the outside, these pockets are additional padding. Inside, that is padded, and then this is padded. So your laptop is good. I have a 15-inch MacBook or 13-inch, I can't remember. You can see it fits in there no problem. Then you have these pockets right here. You could keep money or whatnot. It's extremely visible. So whatever you need, like charging cords, anything like that, you could keep over here so you could just see it. 
get right to it as soon as you open the bag. Also, how the bag opens, you can get through the top and see all that. Now up top here, you can see there is an included camera insert. And the way they worded this is this is a, a limited insert. So this is not a bag designed for like a total camera bag where you have only camera gear you could put in here. You could set this up however you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this. I'll probably bring this up a little higher. Um, then that way, when we travel the turkey hunt, I can put my main camera right here. I know it's supported, it's safe. I can put SD cards, lenses, or anything like that, different things I want throughout here. Or, if we're not traveling, you can take that right out, and then you have, this is just sheer storage. The bag will still work as a, a workstation if you take that out the insert. So, that is an option too. So if you film, you could have this in here. And really, you could put it however you want it. Then you can see on the bottom here, there's another bag, right? So you can. this is removable as well. It is if you want to use this as just a gym bag or something like that. This is actually an insulated uh, container. You can put your meal prep in here. Up top, you can put your silverware, uh, any sauces, spices, anything like that. Anything you could use. You can keep up here separate. Then you can see this is pretty deep, so you could put whatever you need, maybe for a weekend or whatnot, you could have your meals lined up. Or you can just take this right out, and then you could have it so you could adjust this camera, these inserts, however you want to put them. You can adjust that anywhere. Or you can just take that straight out, take out the, the meal prep, container and that then you just have a giant storage which this is all padded and secure so however you want to use this bag you can use it and that's I think it's pretty cool being that versatile so you can see how how many different ways you could actually set this up I mean I think I'm gonna leave this in here um, then I could keep my work clothes in this go to work have my my lunch ready have plenty of room for it. Could still have my camera gear if I wanted. Uh, when we go on turkey trips, this is probably what I'll use to, to actually bring my good camera. And put it in here, different lenses, mics, whatever I need. Um, I wouldn't take the mule, but that's the beauty of this bag. You, you have so many different ways to use it. I think it's going to be hard to beat it. I'm eager to see what you guys think of it, if it's something that fits what you would need, if it's too much, whatever, uh, drop your comments below. But this is the Momentum Freight from Flag Nor Fail. I will be doing an in-depth review of this after I've gotten to use it a bunch. I'm going to use it in every way possible to use this and uh, really see if it's going to be as awesome as I think it is. It's a really comfy bag, it's a really easy bag, and I like all the handles I like how it looks aesthetically it's just a sharp bag that packs a lot of punch so pretty excited about this so drop your comments below let me know what you thought of this right here um, these were a pre-order they're just coming out this is uh, so I'm curious to see what you guys think of it for me this checks out all the boxes I needed a new gym bag I wanted a bigger bag that I could actually cover everything I carry on a daily basis. This will keep my laptop safe. It'll keep, I can have my work clothes in here. I could have my lunch for the next day in here. I could have my gym clothes in here, my pre-workouts in here. I could have everything I need in this bag at all times. Uh, I have no worries about it. So to me, that's really cool. I, I think it looks great, but I'm really curious to see how it does holding up through a test and so. Very curious. So the in-depth review, that'll be down the road when I can use this thing to its full potential and really test it out. But as always, guys, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for boys. Drop your comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're watching this, good odds is you might be. Uh, so definitely check out the rest of the content. And if you'd, if you'd like to help support the channel, links to the Patreon and YouTube memberships are down there as well. They offer a bunch of different perks, behind-the-scenes contents, giveaways, 
early videos, all the fun stuff. So if you want to check that out, they're down there. I'll also put a link to the Flag Nor Fail website so you can check this pack out and all the other products that they make. I do have a lot of their stuff. <laughs> they have, if you lift, you guys know who these who these guys are. They kill it, and uh, also definitely check out his music for lifting. It's top notch. Guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. As always, hope you're having a good day. We'll catch you on the next one.